Bob's um, modestly has, uh, hasn't shared with you a really important innovation, possibly the only innovation that's happened in advertising in years, uh, which I was witness to last week. And it was created by him. Uh, it's very funny, uh, this, this world of advertising that's supposed to kind of uh, create a lot of design trends, because supposed to create a lot of aesthetic trends, hasn't really done, at least in this country, hasn't done um, uh, anything absolutely original as far as topography for a very, very, very long time. And Pops has just launched, and he's created this uh, fabulous typeface. It's called a Gandhi typeface. And, you know, it's also modeled uh, from uh, Gandhi's glasses. And all the typefaces have these little circular things around it. And, and it can become truly the first original Indian typeface. He's actually uh, going to be meeting the president or prime minister uh, next week, uh, where it could become the typeface of a lot of things that we do. So I think we need a huge round of applause for an innovation that's going to hit us all very soon. It's right in this room. And this man has created it, and that's fantastic. Um, and I, and just to dispute Pops on his own innovation, or what he said with regards to his own innovation, I don't think anybody needs that typeface. I don't think he understood any consumer. I don't think he did anything of that sort. He just went and did it because he liked it. And he just thought it would be kind of different. And that's an innovation. Sometimes uh, it's, uh, everybody loves to kind of talk about Apple because that's something we love. It's not anything that we need. It's something that we want. And most great innovations are not necessarily addressing a need. They're not innovations. They're solutions. Innovations are those that actually create a desire um, when you didn't really need it. That's, that's a fabulous thing. And the typeface is one of those things. I believe, and um, because I don't know better, and this is why I like to live with this belief, that um, I have no idea how to build brands. I don't think very many people who talk about who've built brands actually knew how, the, how to build those brands. Um, and I refuse to believe that when the world is getting more and more simple, when the world's getting uh, when a, what, what we call a consumer, when our lives outside the marketing rooms and advertising rooms are getting so exciting and um, there's so much more entertainment, there's so many things to read, there's so many things to kind of watch out for. I refuse to believe that brand communication and marketing can be the only complex job in the world. You know, suddenly marketers and uh, advertising people feel that marketing is so confusing and so complex and there's so much participation of consumers, there's so much involvement, there's so much media, there's so many kind of things, there's so many innovations required. No human being can create any piece of communication with this kind of complexity that's been inflicted upon us by ourselves. It's impossible. Just start thinking of the complexity that we kind of think of in terms of marketing and, and branding. It's impossible even to move 